you do not want to lose them games, it's pretty simple. I look forward to, to getting stuck into them. So it's very important that you come out on top. Both sets of fans going at it, it goes wild. It can get quite spicy out in the middle. Beating Lancashire was everything. It meant so much. You can't lose to Yorkshire, it's just, it's in our bloods, I think. We don't have any friends with them, but as soon as you cross the line, it's, it's a battle. There are more cricket clubs in Yorkshire than there are in Australia. There are 747 cricket clubs and it's just like the brass bands. It's the culture. You go around the county during the winter months and you go to these little pockets um, where you think they don't play much cricket and you go to a Q&A and you get 200 people turning up and you're just overwhelmed with the support. You know, there's a real history of cricket in and around both regions. When you arrive in Yorkshire, the, one of the first things that people talk about is cricket. You know, it's either tea or cricket. I guess as a kid up here, you're, you're taught to, to read and write and support the Red Rose as you are up here. It, it means a hell of a lot to the public um, of Yorkshire that Yorkshire cricket is strong. Obviously not born in Yorkshire, but you know when I first moved over, first signed for the county, you know I heard a lot about it from the lads. First game, you know I could see packed crowd, and it was obviously a big deal. I think as a Lancashire player, you just grow up knowing that they're your biggest rivals, and it, you, you always want to play in a Roses clash. But you don't realise how big it is until you you kind of play the first team games. The team really hates hates getting beaten in, in these games. A lot of sixes bickering, always a good game of cricket because it's that game, everyone just seems to notch it up a gear and it comes from nowhere, I think it comes from gut, from pride, everything just seems ten times better. Because we're playing Yorkshire tomorrow, even I get a bit of a buzz and think, right, I want to perform today. You hear about the great performances of the great players in front of you. You know, Darren Lehman scoring a big double hundred and the runs that Boycott have scored. And you want to write yourself into the history books alongside them big names. We beat them comfortably and I got my first hundred. <laughs> Personally, I got quite a few runs in Rose's games. I got, I don't know, half a dozen hundreds, I think. And then we went to Old Trafford, the bank holiday, and played there. And I got another hundred. Amazing. I've got a five for here at Headingley on this ground and my legs were getting a five for on this ground, so that was great. And then we played the next year and I got another hundred, a third one, in the third Roses match. Wow! The famous battles that these two, these two counties have had over the years, it builds it up and I guess it's for us to be part of that legacy and history and try and put our stamp on it. And you just can sense it the day or two before that players are just that little bit more focused. The, the preparation's always that little bit more on it, and players are, are just that little bit more nervous on the start of the game. It never changes here. Wherever you feel that you get booed, so I'm quite used to it now. So you've got to look at those spirit. remember back in the day not wanting to feel down in that corner um, there were a few uh, echoes and you know we'd run out on the pitch and I'd run as far away from that corner as I could it was the closest thing to uh, being a footballer as you can get. I used to run the other way just <laughs> just try and get the other side of the field for a couple of hours. On the flip side of that when you, you walk off Old Trafford uh, I've walked off many a time here in front of a full house and it's been deadly quiet and, and that's a very nice moment if you're silencing the crowd here.
pleasure to play in their matches. It's terrific. An ordeal when I first started. I, 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 you know, I wouldn't say anything else. That that was nerve-wracking. And I, I'll never forget that at lunchtime, that they would always delay their entrance into the lunch room, and they would always we would be sat there, and they would walk past us in the in the Yorkshire Blazers looking absolutely resplendent and just walk past us and look down as if we didn't exist. It was no all's barred on the field, but at the end of the day's play, and I know we're at Headingley now, and there's a, a pub over the back here, and both teams would retire there. You'd go and have a beer and, and yarn and chat and, and just have some fun. I would think that I'm, I'm outside looking in now and. In, in the re recent matches, there's been a bit going on. You know, very recently, the Lancashire are a feisty outfit under Stephen Croft, and it'll be very important to them. Maybe you can you can speak to each other after the four days, but from day one to day four, you you kind of don't really get on with them friendly wise. It can get quite spicy, yeah. It's no different in the women's game as I'm sure it is in the men's game. It's quite a good laugh to wind them up. Um, the Yorkies are quite easy to wind up, aren't they, anyway? So. But the red rose looks a lot better. Than, their rose isn't really even a white rose, is it? It looks like a, a child has drawn theirs. It, it's just the best thing about cricket. You can have all that full-on, intense rivalry, but actually you're best of mates with them as well. You know, I guess of the teams that I played against in my career, the one team off the field that we got on with better than any of the other teams was the, was the Lancashire lads. I think we all feel we're in a, in a similar boat. They'll take the, the mick out of the Yorkies for being tight, and the Yorkshire lads are saying that the Lancastrians always bring over the, the wet weather. And you know, two sets of players that always get on terrifically well off the pitch, but as soon as they get over that white line, it's uh, it's heated. I think it's coming together of like-minded people but it, it's it's just that m62 there's something about it you know shut the gate when you're going back <laughs>